Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Pineapples are in season and they are available almost everywhere. In this video, we present to you the making of a homemade pineapple jam with no preservatives or colors used. This is a good way of preserving pineapples and using it during the off season. It stays well for about 6 to 8 months in the refrigerator. And so you can cherish them till the arrival of the new season. So let's begin with the process. Our first step starts with the preparation. Choose among the ripe pineapples and clean them well. Cut the ends and peel the skin. And also remove the core of the pineapple. The sap and the core of the pineapple can sometimes cause itching or irritation of the mouth and tongue in some people. So remove them neatly and then cut the pineapple to small pieces. Here I have taken about 10 kg of ripe pineapples and after the cutting and peeling it weighed about 8.5 kgs. Our next step is to grind and take the pulp of the pineapple. For that take all the chopped pineapple pieces to a mixer jar and grind it smooth to extract the pulp. You can also sieve it to remove the small chunks and bits. But since I'm making a large quantity, I prefer to cook it directly. Here I am heating a hard bottom vessel at medium flame. And then let's pour in the pulp of the pineapples. It is always good to take wide open mouth vessel for cooking as it makes the process easier and faster. Now when it begins to boil, keep stirring so that the heat is distributed equally. So continue boiling and stirring for another 20 to 30 minutes. It is good to keep a long ladle for stirring as it helps to prevent burns and injuries while the jam is boiling faster. Then I am going to add the second ingredient that is sugar. This is a must ingredient for making a homemade jam to a perfect jam like consistency. I 
and also the sugar helps in preservation of the jam. Now mix in well and allow the sugar to melt. As the sugar melts, the pineapple pulp becomes a little runny in appearance. So we need to continue cooking till it thickens. It took me about three and a half hours with the cooking. A little of patience and time is required for making this into a perfect jam-like consistency. So this is how it looks at the end of two hours of cooking. It has produced and is getting thick. And so we need to continue cooking till we get the jam-like consistency. Reduce the flame if the bubbling becomes too fast. At this point, you can remove the small chunks and bits if you don't like them in your jam. But I prefer to keep them to get the bite of freshness. And then this is how it looks at the end of 3 hours of cooking. The quantity has reduced well and has become more thick. So we have reached towards the end of cooking of the flame. And now I'm going to add fresh lime juice and also a pinch of salt. This is believed to help in preservation, but both of these are optional. Mix them well and the heat will cook them. And this is the texture of the jam at the end of cooking. Though it looks a little runny now, but on cooling, we are going to get a perfect jam-like consistency. And so, our next step is to keep the jam for cooling. Allow it to cool at normal room temperature. And this is how it looks after 5 to 6 hours of cooling. Our homemade pineapple jam is so good and has a perfect jam-like consistency. It really was delicious and the smell of it makes you crave for more and you can start using it directly. Now we are left with storing the jam. Store it in a dry and clean, preferably glass jar. If you are making large quantities like me, then store them in separate smaller jars as it makes it easier to use and also increases the shelf life. It stays well for about 6 to 8 months when stored in the refrigerator. So during this season of pineapples, do try making this homemade pineapple jam with no preservatives and colors. and cherish it throughout the year with your favorite bread. Thank you for being with us and hope to see you in our next video.